Hello guys and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are here finally at Hogwarts. Oh um, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? So up until this point, uh, Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Had a few run into some bad people. Um, Prepare yourself to meet Ranrock to be named. The headmaster. Fig! Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. So if you've just joined us and you haven't seen the first video in the episode, well, the series, um, Basically, blue from Professor London, Weasley. Things Need happened. One more to be sorted. Ran into some people. Welcome. Um, You're just in time. Here. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Maybe. It's Gryffindor House, known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Ooh. Right, let's have a look at the other houses, though. Um, Hufflepuff, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Slytherin, known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Ravenclaw, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. I think... I don't know. I really don't know. I think I might go for patience, for patience, healthy and hot. Yeah, I might go for hmm. Puff, I think. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Yeah, I'll go for Hufflepuff. Better be Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. 
Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Uh. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yes, Professor. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Ooh, pop up of common room. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Looks pretty realistic. Be frightened, Arthur's little cat. You. It's all right. These are different to Arthur's got you. It's all uh, right. I can't quite reach. Just <laughs> uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. What's this? Mm. 
Oh, uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. I don't see you. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? If you don't mind, I'd prefer to just forget about it. Oh dear, it must have been bad. I mean, of course it was. I know I would have been terrified. Sorry. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Well, there's more of that story, isn't there? That's good, this isn't Lenora. it? Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor yes. Weasley is waiting for them outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Absolutely. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Yes, please do. Where are we going, Professor? Where are we going? Wait. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Yes, hold on, hold on. I certainly Rebellion. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Duck. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep yes, up. Sir.
it's not I'm just picking up that field guide. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide Revelio. How southwest of you go? Even up to field guide challenge, your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Right, let's have a look, shall we? This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Mm. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Field guide tools. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards, unlock effect. Each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be played must be complete rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked mm. clever isn't it yes. keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle timing perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall okay great map right hogwarts is, is divided into two main areas the left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes common house rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Great Hall region. A few flames represent the flames that you have discovered, including your own house common room. Right. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Queen Houses. Okay then, right. The annex. S uh, central hall. Right, travel there then. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that dragon attack my suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle nope I'm sorry professor but I'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm almost precisely what professor fig said speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning oh yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, open map. Tend Hmm. Right, eleven or so. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Uh, you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. 
especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise stood. <laughs> now, the basic is well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Ooh. Alrighty then. Do collective rewards available in the challenges menu. 
right, let's see what we've got. Uh, quests. We, ooh. Gloves. Pleasure. Okay. And then... I'll go through Gallia Spectacles. My no, rubber. Yes. Hey. Anyways, right. Um, right. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here until we actually see what the next quest is. Charms class. Right, yeah, so we'll leave this episode here until um, we can do Charms class, which will be in the next uh, episode. So, um, we've got a lot to do, a lot of spells to learn, and all that good stuff. So, um, yep, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow the series, and... We shall see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.